Clear my throat. So yeah, um, did that. I did foes. What else have I done? Okay, I think I'm going to the maze. Oh, that is the wrong button I pressed. Right, give me a second to get the stream off my phone. So I can maybe see the notifications if they ever appear. Just so I can make sure everything at the right volume. Little thief. I don't know where that thief went. Oh, there he is. I was like, where the hell did he go? Yeah, um... What's this character rocking? A lot of stat bonuses. Not... Well, okay. Uh, not bad equipment aside from, you know, the chest armor. Something just hit me with lower morale. It did manage to hit you. And you're dead. Oh, you froze me. Um, let's break that. Oh, yeah, I have primal. Do I also have prismatic? Oh, my God. Hmm. It's going to be hard for me not to. Who's one of the things I currently have? Um, I say lose one of the things I, ha I have. I might use a category point on that. That is, because it is fairly good. Another amulet that's just not as good as the current one. So I'm, um, it's, my brain's taking a while to rev up. I uh, may have not taken as much of a break as I should have. Orc Assassin. I've never seen one of these before. An orc trained in the secret ways of assassination, stealthy and deadly. Okay, well, he's dead, all right. Give him that much. Um. Okay, tier two. Oh, so it's tier three. Um. Oh god, that difference in damage is insane. I think I kind of have to equip it. Oh, it's a two-handed weapon. Oh, that makes sense for why it does so much damage. Oh, again, two-handed. Damn it. <coughs> Not bad though. Not bad. If I'm gonna get a weapon with the. Uh... Or a one-handed weapon, those stats, or shield. <laughs> Arm myself with an incredible shield. What am I getting hit with? What the heck is going on? Okay, it's a Reaver Assassin. Let's run up to you. Hmm. Guess for generation, and just start going on. Yeah, let's activate the infusion primal. Yeah, that will heal us for some of the damage taken, among other things. Excuse me, friend. Okay, um looks like I can get one of guile. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep maxing this out. Let's put more points in the willpower. I grab healing nexus, so if anything starts trying to heal itself, I can make it heal me instead. Oh, there's the enemy. Um. 
don't want to be stunned, so I will stop that from being a thing. <clears throat> Just crit for 544 damage. That's, uh, it's a spicy meatball. Yeah. Not bad. And then I ate these. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Hmm. Some nifty gloves. Fire a shot. Uh, yeah, I don't think steady shot's really helpful to me, game. Oh, this is giving me damage. I don't think I can replace it so easily. Um, this is giving me stats. This would give me 10 defense. This is giving me willpower, though, which also gives me defense. So, unfortunately, I don't think this is good enough. I mean, if it was, if it was three willpower instead of three decks, I think I would have worn it. And then I'll probably switch my current armor for this. Gives me cunning, but yeah. It's a, it's a pretty big jump. Wait a second, why was I... Oh, 20% chance to slow global speed by 54%. That's, yeah, that's ridiculous. Hmm. Why am I using this over the... I suppose it is increasing my damage pretty massively. So I guess I'll keep it. Pony boy. Got anything immune to poison. Anything immune to poison is just immune to this venomous breath. Hornet stingers. Um, looks done with poison. Great. I mean, I'll keep it. I'll maybe get rid of them once I can turn them into energy. I imagine they wouldn't be too bad for it, but yeah, I need a, I need a breath weapon that doesn't... Service as a poison. Service? Doesn't uh, work as a poison. Stop regenerating. You know, also nature's touch is to set myself back up. There we go. I was clicking on myself so I wasn't moving. Whoops. Um, that's a hundred max life versus... Okay, that's a lot of stats though, but... Uh, yeah, my HP is now 900. Holy crap. Hmm. God, I really want to... You know what? I am going to uh, grin and bear it and switch my helmet for the one that gives me actual more defense. Rather than leaving my supple body out for the, uh, the elements. Let's get rid of some of these. I don't remember to mark one of these. One of these has the... Uh, Water breathing, which I might have already destroyed at this point. While not paying attention. Okay, that's probably not something I'm gonna keep. <clears throat> See, I think I had something with the uh, water breathing that I believe I destroyed. Whoops. I'll survive. Maybe I'm worrying it already. Probably not. Nope. We have quite a lot of chance to globally slow an enemy. Yep. 
God, that is so strong. In fact, don't we have like a 100% chance to slow them? It's an anaconda. Recall in fear as you notice this gigantic snake, it seeks across the life of you. It's, uh, it's looking at my bones. Clearly. Hmm. <clears throat> this belt is pretty good. Let's change it. Would I sacrifice a size category for that 50% slope? Probably not. Okay, you are a corrupter. See how you handle being corrupted by my poison. I don't think he handled it, handled it very well at all. Hmm. So that's a headbutt item. This is free strength, five will, gives me physical resistance and temporal resistance. I mean, it definitely had potential, but it's just not as good of a piece of armor. It's the only thing really wrong with it. Huh. Not doing half bad. So what we do with my the fact that my gear is jacking up my stats quite highly. I mean yeah, I got 43 strength. So I am capable of punching above my weight. Pretty succinctly. Question is where the heck is the way down? Oh hi, Mind Slayer. See one handed weapon by the looks of it. So tier three. It's a chance to deal two hundred over V turns with reduced healing. This is the exact same. It also does lightning and AoE, gives me cunning and will. Yeah, I think I think it's good enough for me to equip it. Quartz. <coughs> and uh, yeah, a whole lot of stuff gets destroyed. Mess a thousand gold. I I've seen, <laughs> I've seen that message pop up so many times down here. You also immune to poisons. Yep, unfortunately. So just telling me his venomous breath is probably ill-advised for most enemies. Oh, that's two. Well, let me get closer to two of these so I can activate. Healing Nexus. Fusion Primal, and then just start doing my thing. It's a dead Minotaur and I can heal myself, and that's a dead rogue. I said that's a dead rogue. There you go. Elemental Fury. What does it do? Gives me six cunning, six magic. Gives me penetration to basically everything. All my damage is converted and split into a king, fire, cold, and lightning. So, uh huh. All oh, my damage, you say? Also, what does this say? This ring shines with many colors. That's it. <laughs> That's the entire description. <laughs> it works even with the poison. 
You know what? I actually think that's great. Because, okay, so what it does is it splits my damage into into four types. Yeah, one, two, three, four. It splits my damage into four types. And then also increases my damage. So, in the end, I think that's a net damage increase. Hmm. So that's a lot of text. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna use it, but I will. I will keep it around to turn into energy later, just because it looks nice. Nothing important. Uh, there we go. Huh. Not bad. I was throwing my salvation. God, I see that down here all the time. That also means that um, Prismatic Slash, which is one of my main forms of damage, can't truly be resisted. Okay, I think the biggest problem is that um, anything that has multiple damage resistances, I'm going to be screwed against. But anything that just has a one big resistance, it's actually going to be better with. Oh, good god. Ogres have never been a thriving race. Starting from their abrupt appearance as soldiers and laborers for the Conclave during the Allure Wars. Unexplained aside from a highly implausible story from the Conclave's overseers about a lost mountain tribe. Left without homes or proper runic training after the war's end. They're forced to found their own tribes and rediscover the fields of rune and infusions creation for themselves. Though their numbers dropped rapidly, they endured a brief period of relative, relative success as runic, or nomadic runic traders. Rune traders, goddammit. <coughs> Virtually unaffected by the spell blaze. The spell, the spell hunt nearly proved to be their undoing as their monstrous size and rune covered skin made them popular targets. They were, thought, they were thought to be extinct, and only in recent years has the city of Elvala revealed that some ogres took refuge there during this time. The descendants still live today, fearful of persecution, but gradually beginning to explore outside Elvala for the first time in ages. Ogre's most striking features of size. By far the largest of the largest of any intelligent race. They average at roughly eight four eight foot four inches tall. And marks are nearly half as wide with muscle. They have a similar range of skin tones to humans, although slightly grayer on the whole. Their hair tends to be dark brown or black, and their eyes run the gambit. Or gamut. 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 Gambit. Which is obviously not how that's spelled, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Run the gambit from black to bright blue to purple. Presumably a side effect of runic mistranscription. The angular facial features invite some impolite comparisons to orcs. With strong jawlines, disproportionately large mouth and teeth, and squarish heads, but otherwise resemble those of humans. It would be remiss of me to describe ogres' appearances without, uh, without mentioning the articulate, uh, intricate, glowing patterns of runes covering their skin from head to toe, although the exact patterns and colors vary. Although they excel at physical tasks, <clears throat> at physical tasks, for obvious reasons. And the necessity of careful inscription has made their finger dexterity and penmanship rather impressive. The limb movements tend to be slow and clumsy due to their size, and they tire quickly if they were 
If they overexert themselves during strenuous labor, the slow speech, incredible appetites, and lack of interest in arts or most scholarly concerns has led to a misconception that they are dim-witted. However, ogres forced into studious tasks have performed admirably, and one needs only to look at their rhetoric patterns to know the p know the patient study and artistic vision they are capable of. A properly motivated this. This may tie into the humble, duty-bound mindset that seems to be an inherent property of the species. Most ogres show absolutely no interest in leadership or impressing, impressing, in impressing others. Only completing tasks in the most reliable manner possible, and such strategies tend to be rather simple. While the Shalor use the magic, use of magic is arbol, arguably a choice. Ogres have no such luxury. Their inscriptions are as crucial to their well-being and structural integrity as any internal organ. And attempts by Ziggurat to cleanse captured ogres of their runes invariably lead to them collapsing under their own weight, then their organs shutting down one by one. One can assume that their natural infusions are just as vital. As such, ogre reproduction is a careful task. A newborn can live for a few months unaltered, but after this the parents must give their child a thorough regimen of runic inscriptions and herbal infusions. The parents typically perform this task together, using each other's runes as a reference, and any mistake made in the inscription will affect the child's health and development, usually adversely. Though it is believed that inscription errors, transcription errors, are responsible for migrating ogres once uncontrollable tempers as such, the inscribed patterns are as much of an influence on the child's development as the physical, mental, Physical and mental traits of his or her parents. Due to the safety and comfort of Elvala and the mistrust of much of the outside world, most ogres who leave their home do so for trade purposes, no longer using Shalorn as courier, uh, couriers. God damn, my brain. Some have begun to enter the grown market of runes and infusions and have proven very successful thanks to their natural talent in the area. Those few who could be considered adventurers tend to pack up their things and leave abruptly, not for glory or riches, but because they see a reoccurring source of misery in the world and wish to dispose of it themselves as a public service. It is not uncommon for an elf to sigh in frustration after hearing about a hijacked shipment of grain head out, return a few days later with the blood of a once persistent bandit clan stuck to his club, and go right, uh, right back to tending his crops. Okay, that was a whole lot of reading. Okay. That dealt damage to me. Rude. Um. Hmm. What the heck did I just pick up? Powerful steel torque in my blast. Powerful. Oh, because oh, I manually picked it up, I see. I was like, why is this. Why is this showing so prominently in my inventory? Hmm. Do I have any abilities that would increase my. Oh, right, yeah. Chromatic Fury would increase my resistance penetration for all elements. And all damage I deal with them. So Chromatic Fury might actually synergize well with... Elemental Fury. Excuse me, God. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help but hiccup. Um... Oh. question of how do I want to do this <clears throat> okay where else does the game recommend me going into the darkness at uh, the Kara uh, last time I went to the Kara I uh, met a swift end at the at the uh, blade of a very very prominent creature you know what it's golem graveyard let's peek our head in golem golem eyes glow with magical energies can you be poisoned? 
Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Garments of Atomathon. This giant golem was constructed by the halflings during the Pyre Wars to fight the orcs, but was felled by Gurkul the Devourer. Its body is made of marble, its joints of solid Breton, and its Soul eye of purest ruby. The other one seems to be missing at least 400 tall, 40 feet tall, not 400. Uh, it towers above you. Someone foolishly tried to reconstruct it but was unable to complete the task. This golem needs another eye to complete it. So I need to find a ruby. Do I? What do I have in terms of gemstones? Definitely no ruby. Start laying in and eat it. Sure, why not? For 50 HP, let's regenerate. I am disarmed, so I'm just going to be punching for a few turns. Luckily, uh, luckily I don't have a problem with doing a lot of different damage. It's not really anything that uh, would actually be able to uh, prevent me from dealing more damage to it. So when you say Golem Graveyard, you literally just meant this? Is there literally nothing more here? I don't know why I keep Venom Breathing. It only works on organic enemies. I have this Topaz, so yeah, it's a good place to find gemstones. Oh no, there is a way down. Intimidating Cave. Err. multi shoot worm Huh. Oh God. <laughs> Sorry, I was I was trying to leave. I'm such a moron. Okay, that was that was very dumb of me. I just lost the uh, Just lost a life to that. Well, I say life. I that was the only that was uh, that was blood of life. So I don't I don't get another one of those. I don't think, anyways. So yeah. Um. Next death will be for real. That is a lot of enemies. Umber Hulks just piercing through everything. Are you crippled? No, you're burning. I refuse to think is my fault. I'm healing Nexus myself and then heal myself even harder. So poison everyone. So dealing my Haley. So yeah, once I'm actually up against organic enemies, I can do quite a lot of damage. Oh. And yes, I do have to just like fling myself forward, otherwise this guy behind me will die. 
Could you, like, not move any further? <sighs> Sorry, I'm just so annoyed that I lost the blood of I mean, to be fair, it's, you know, it's what I get for exploring. Melee and ranged attacks have a chance to shred enemies, inflicting additional damage, it's bleeding. And senses misdirection. When every foe attempts to apply a detrimental effect to me, they have a chance to fail. It's then redirected to somebody else. Um, misdirection's actually incredible. For, for my character right now, because being... Like, uh, it, it, it being hit by status effects is honestly his greatest weakness. So yeah, being able to put them on somebody else. Like, having a chance to, like, be completely fine. And not only be fine, but also reflect it to somebody else, that'd be pretty nice. There you are. Shatter afflictions. Crippling poison you. Be on my way. Gotta be careful for the um the whatchamacallit, the, the three pillars that uh, summon rares that will then, you know, summon the level 50 boss I once fought. Or like Kornak Fighter and Expedition Captain. Nothing much hatling, hatchling so far. Honestly, if this keeps up, we won't have enough dragon hide to cover a dragon, let alone cover our losses. I really spared no expense this time. Gron is one of the finest rangers I know. And Sotolost. Sotolost. His prices are exorbitant. But then what else would you expect from those many grubbing dwarven thronesmen? I must admit, I don't know much about Zahn. The locals say that there's no finer worm in the area, but I admit she is something special in combat. And if only she could turn her draconic talents into fighting some dragons. Okay. It's technically a 32 damage dagger. I know it's not better though. Unfortunately. 16 cool there. What's the other one? I'll protect you. Okay, this regeneration room is probably better than this one. Slightly less cooldown and is on a stat that I actually raise naturally. Okay, I need to. Oh god, I can't see her. Yeah, I'm gonna, I have a plan. <laughs> Just lightning bolt, come back here. Tell you to stand still, run back. And start killing. I'm gonna guess what direction they go in and try to clear it out. Okay, you are a massive freaking brawler. Yeah, also, healing Nexus, just in case you have healing abilities. God, you're annoying. Well, the nature will bring my infusions back online sooner. I'll block you. And then I'll eat you. Because I truly have that power. Your bulwark. Step over here to. Damn it, you put my ability I needed to use in cooldown. I'm gonna heal a bunch. Primal infusion. Let's get rid of you. Could you just stay out of the fucking way? 
You're the reason I'm dying right now, friend. I realize this is no giant lady. The only lug I don't think did it. Yo, what's up? Oh, I think I saved you. Okay, good. What can you give me? Stone touch. I think. Hmm. Accuracy defense, chance to strike up crits. Damage is light weapons or magic. Dex is probably better. I could also grab Stone Touch if I felt so inclined, but I don't think I don't think anything that could be stoned is uh, really. Someone resistance. Yeah, no. This is go Dex for some better melee combat. Also, my uh, my sustains were turned off. I need to be careful of that. Better reflections. This one's better. Hi, giant. Bye. Yeah, I I definitely enjoy this. I just enjoy that it's so uh, well, like a lot of classes, you can really do a lot of different things. Hmm. I don't think I need any more points into Venom's Breath. In fact, I might actually take points out of it, because... Realizing now that there is, uh... A lot of enemies that just do not get affected by it. They say all the undead, or all the inorganic enemies I keep facing. Let's just put it back down to two. So I lower my damage with it, but uh, my damage isn't nature right now. I've got uh, okay, I've gained, I've gotten elemental fury. God, dang it! Which means all of my damage is uh, in in technical or lightning, fire, arcane, and cold. So. nature damage is not actually nature damage so it doesn't really matter what my nature uh, resistance is hmm blinded which one of these does the most damage Three hundred, two hundred. Oh. So random. Um, venom. Venom wouldn't be too bad. Just disarmed. Hmm. I start going down there. Uh, am I sure? Physical resistance, actually. Let's. But this one would do that much damage. Right. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'll grab Resolve and Corrosive Breath. Obviously, I'll have to start with Acid Spray and Corrosive Mist, which I probably won't make too good use out of, but they're obviously there. Right, and a generic point. Um, Social Life.
Let's just have Maxing at Healing Nexus, because then... Then Ancestral Life will be able to reduce my equilibrium in combat without having to resort to meditation. Oh, whoops, that is the wrong ability. You know, if I'm going to be doing that, I may as well. Make sure it's in the right order. Oops. Oh, this is Aaron. I was like, what the hell is going on here? Goodbye, friend. Sotalos, dwarf, rogue. Can't believe I agreed to this expedition. I suppose it's because I've known Relay for a while now. We've crossed paths many times at Dirth's trading outpost. I even gave her a special rate for my services. Such a bunch of fool. All it's gotten me is boots filled with snow and a light corn purse. I still don't understand why these kingdom types are so enamored with drake skin. Make superior armor, they say. <laughs> if you can't handle metal armor, what business do you have even wearing armor? Leather is about as much use as a halfling tied to a <laughs> noises up ahead. I'll stop writing. I guess I'm going to be riding into uh, whatever's up here. I already died to one dragon. Huh. Oh, that's a lot of stats. That could make use out of the uh, increased lightning damage, but no, I don't think I will trade. Now oh, let's give me temporal damage, strength. Temporal resistance increase temporal damage. Hmm. Eight physical four lightning. Twenty five percent lightning penetration. These might actually. Hmm. Let's give me two constitution. Increase my. And I said, give me a hundred mana, which I don't currently use, but could use. Oh. I think I'll use Bolt Dash, because that will increase my armor by a chunk, and also I'll keep these around, though. And that Lightning Penetration will be quite nice, given the fact that my damage is currently split between them. Between Lightning and etc. And Pearl Rift leads somewhere. Oh, I gotta I gotta see what it does. And there's no telling where you'll end up if you're okay, no no no, okay. I guess I'll I guess once I'm done with the mountains, I will use the temporal rift and potentially get myself killed. Okay, ice worm. Primal Infusion, Regenerate. Don't have any points to spend, so I guess I'm just going to quickly run up to you and start hitting you. Preferably until you die, and then I ate you. So yeah, look at it. All my damage is uh, in like four different types. That nothing can truly be resistant to me, unless they're only vulnerable to physical damage, in which case I, uh, or they're only, um, vulnerabilities to physical damage, in which case I don't do damage. I, I don't do anything. Even my poi- even my poison has been turned into a rainbow of damage. I don't want to fight anything that heals up one of these damage types, because then I'd be screwed. It's a treant. Some more dragons. Grand Kronak Archer, that snake that. 
addle-pated beardling, the coined hound, hounding, black-hearted, stump-kneed dwarf. A scout, he calls himself, the finest eyes of the Iron Throne, able to read the sign of a tavern in Last Hope from the Tavern in Dearth. Surely someone with such grandiose praise for his own eyesight would have spotted that cold drink waiting in ambush for us. Damnable thing. We're lucky if I can never use my left arm again. I can't use my bow now. I'm effectively dead wood to the team. I'm beginning to think that so lost has ulterior motives. I won't put it past the dwarf to lead us up to this forsaken mountain to die just so he could write through our pockets. I keep telling Relay, but she won't listen. The fool. <clears throat> Oh, am I, uh, assaulting a town of giants? I feel like I'm the baddie. Hi, giant. Bye, giant. Hi, giant. Hi, giant. I, uh, I feel like I'm evil doing this. Hi. Bye. Hello. Bye. It's not the first time I met this guy, but at least I don't think it's the first time. It's a chieftain. Regenerate, he's dead. Okay. I think I need the pro infusion yet. I will block though. They pulled me in. I will heal like Nexus. Primal infusion. Heal myself. Eat a giant. Step forward. Do some AoE. Acidic spray. I can't reach far enough for that to matter. Okay, I'm gonna speed towards them. AoE them. This guy's still alive. Let's finish off that one. Or try to. Let's AoE all of them. Block. Shatter afflictions. And one with nature to bring some of my cooldowns back online. Or well, some of my uh, infusions. Okay. Brought me in closer. To the fool. And next turn I'll be able to regenerate. There we go. I'm already back at the full. Okay, where's the. Okay. Glyphrin. God, I swallowed my tongue when I tried to pronounce that. Okay, let's infusion again. Let's try to eat him. The healing Nexus again. Acid breath them. Shattering the afflictions I have. Okay, let's try to finish him off. Nice. Okay, failed to kill him again. So I've got 44% HP. He's considered big. Uh, if I deal another 20% of his HP, he will die when I attempt to eat him. Block, he knocks me back again. Shed my stun. Let's eat your friend. Knock me away, that's not gonna save your tribe. Okay, still alive. And let's speed towards him. Get my regeneration back up. Attempt to heal myself to full, fail several times, healing Nexus. And then heal myself to full. Very high fail rate right now. I think I'm going to meditate, shatter afflictions, and then I'm going to just run away from him. Maybe do some AoE damage. It's regenerating, but I do way more damage than what he's regenerating. Let's poison him. Okay, I think I've equilibrium enough. There's some more enemies. Whoops. Unfortunately, friends, uh, all you get is a quick death. I 
just say that. Being eaten by me is probably not the quickest of deaths. I'm really not picking up anything too interesting that day. Maybe. I'll check my loot. Okay, I've gotten a tier 1 axe. It's total hell. This, this armor would raise my... Oh my good lord. It gives me acid and fire damage when I melee, when I am hit. I deal acid, fire, and arcane. Increases my... Gives me a technicolor rainbow of resistances. Increases my arcane damage, which... Yeah, that's, that's a lot. And I do deal arcane damage, among other things. You need tier 2 shield. I don't see anything... Special about it though. It would give me regen, but I think I think the technical resistances are pretty good. And everything else can just disappear. So let's make it disappear. As you walk, you notice a huge thunderstorm overhead. Beware. Okay, Rungolf the Warg Titan. You know, you said you were a titan, but uh, you're only massive, or you're not, you're only, you're only big. Not exactly the biggest thing I've fought on this mountain. Oops, that was the wrong ability. Oh, this is poison unit. I'm pretty sure you're dead by now. There's a summon around here. Let's see if I can run away to find him. The fragment, the fragmented essence of Harcor Zun. Fragmented essence. Maybe it would be best if you stayed fragmented. Um. Let's avoid that for now. Is that shit chasing me? It's probably fusion. See, you're the one who keeps summoning things. Rude. Oh, good lord, that's a lot of, uh. A lot of fragmented pieces of some guy. Constricted, I think I'll break that. Healing Nexus. I hope this doesn't cause my character indigestion for eating these. And constrict it again. Oh, Rungolf! <laughs> Rungolf uh, is actually still alive. I apparently was not uh, paying, ten uh, paying enough attention to uh, her. Killed one of the essences. Woo, okay. A gigantic demon comprised of Earth, resembling a twisted Zarin, but much, much larger. Doesn't seem pleased with your presence. And myself. Okay. It's intimidating me. Let's try blocking you. Let's poison the oncoming warg. Try to disarm you. Have to act activate equilibrium. Cut back slightly. Start regenerating. Start trading hits. I think I might just be able to kill it from here. I mean, it's huge, but uh, it's... Oh, dang it. It, it managed to save against my uh, ability to finish it off. And it's that Earthmaster. Killed Harkurzun. <laughs> Whoops. 
It evolves redemption as the ring seems moist to the touch. Why are you still alive, Wolf? Engulf's fang. Oh, this is the thing that uh, dropped the fang that just. Armor penetration is 7, grants telepathy, animal canine. And it's just a if it's an inventory item. It's not wearable. Okay, the redemption. Okay, so this. Rick Files are actually not that good, so I guess I'll just wear this. Now I've got two unique rings. It gives me increased cold damage, cold and nature resistance, constitution and willpower, all stats that I can make use out of. For now, anyways. First time I ever fought that clearly, because the only place I've died up here is uh, the big, big dude I decided to free. Which definitely was not that guy. It was definitely way scarier. Crystal Shard. It is a staff. This crystalline, tr uh, crystalline tree branch is remarkably rigid and reflects light in myriad colors. Gazing at it entrances you and you worry where its power may have come from. Oh, don't I don't have a staff that I need to get magic to talk to it. The next level I'm gonna to talk to that staff. So I'm gonna put magic. Invest in magic I should say. Okay. Sister life. Elemental Harmony, where are you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I'll go. It's just a life for the equilibrium. So as I'm regenerating, I get back equilibrium, which... Okay, Rantha the Worm. Claws and teeth, ice and death. Dragons are not all extinct, it seems. Well, clearly they'll be extinct soon if they fight me like this. Okay. Let's move dissolve into where my physical abilities are. Hmm. Seven turns. You know, I will activate that. Actually, it's not even acid anymore. <laughs> it's uh, it's just technicolor elements now. It's prismatic you. Let's eat your giant friend. Let's attempt to dissolve you. Ooh, let's see what dissolve did. Dissolve did um. 292 damage. That's actually the best I've ever seen this all do. Probably due to the fact that uh, um, currently my lightning, fire, cold, and arcane are all massively increased. And I have penetrations for all the different... Well, I will have all the different penetrations uh, at level 22. Arcane... I think Fury might actually be really good for this character from Breath. Which we'll see. Yeah, no, that's not as good as these gauntlets because they add a lot more. Gotta love it when randomly generated items are way better than anything you could find. More enemies. Okay, let's activate my AoEs. I mean, even without triggering any other abilities, I have 14 regeneration. Don't I have vitality too? 
So I do. Which is also getting buffed because of fungus. Very nice. Relay, Kornak Fighter, and Expedition Captain. Sotolust is dead and so is Garan. The former by Garan's hand, the latter by my hand. Even with these wastes, I cannot abide such an act of mutiny. I was aware of Garan's anger ever since the Drake attack, but I never dreamed he would turn on Sotolust like that. He had taken my longsword as I slept the previous night, strode up to Sotolust, unheeding of I and Zan watching him. Ran him through and laughed. Simply laughed. There was nothing for it. I wrenched my sword from his hand and brought it down on his neck. The commotion seemed to have stirred up the nearby Drake Ness, and now I fear that I, we don't have the strength to repel a concentrated attack. We may have to abandon this expedition. And then there's freaking nether worms here. Maybe. I think that's everything. I don't know if there's still a few left. There we go. Okay. Whoa, that uh, dude did a lot of damage to me. Okay, let's uh, heal for a few hundred. So I'm regening for a hundred a turn, because I'm a ridiculous character. Equilibrium and lightning speed. You can certainly try to uh, lightning bolt me again, but I don't think it'll work so well this time. I will eat you, friend. Poison him. Okay, thank you. Expedition Journal, Zan Shaloran Wormick. And his entry was scrawled by an unsteady hand. Impudent fools, treading upon dragon's ground. Slaying my dear kin just for their skin. They will pay, they will pay. I called the drake, told it to be coming. Avoid the dwarf's gaze. I laughed as it bit into that ranger's arm. <laughs> They're killing each other now, simple creatures. Simple, soft skin creatures. Not like dragons, so perfect symbols of perfection power. The captain still lives, but not for long. I will bring you, bring her to you to feast. Rentha, I will see you soon. So yeah, the, uh, the Shaloran betrayed the others. Because of course you would. Excuse me, I'd like to be able to see, friend. Oh, cold drake, fair enough. Yeah, let's primal infusion and start regenerating. Get out of the way! Oh, ultimate. Golgoroth. Golgoroth are mighty air elementals, a pure incarnation of lightning and thunder. And then I ate it. Because I am the true apex predator. I not done, did not end up finding the things that destroyed me last time. Like right somewhere. Oh yeah, I basically summoned a level 50 boss just by messing with some some things I should not have been messing with. I didn't even find them this time, so it must have been a random random thing that spawned, similar to this. Let's enter this temporal rift. A space and time, space and time distort and lose all meaning through the rift. This place is alien. A Tula Goroth, a temporal elemental, rarely encountered except by those who travel through space, uh, through time itself. It's blurred from constantly shifting before your eyes. Zero gravity out of time zone. Okay, there's no gravity here, you float in the air. Woman of Sleep Times is slow, and any melee or archery blows have a ch chance to knock back. You say slower, but what if I were to turn to pure lightning? It's a halfling gardener! 
A rugged halfling gardener. Looking... <laughs> looking quite confused as he's wondering what he's doing here. Ultimate Tilavora. Vorta. Time and space collapse in upon this erratic moving time elemental. Okay, I'm sorry, friend. Personal reaction? Yeah, hostile, because I, you know, started to murder them. Sorry, friend. Sorry, friend, but we're out of time. Okay, friend, um... Can you be poisoned? I don't think so. Let's get around to them. Oh, there you are. Come back. Yes, regeneration, stop swapping places with me, you asshole. Oops, my, uh, my venom missed. Gotta hold a bunch of random damage. They can't be hit by my attack. If you stop swapping with me, just die already. Stop it. Do not consent. I don't know why I keep pressing my uh, abilities that don't actually work here. Well, I seem to be alive. There's that. I do have also a thousand HP, so I shouldn't be surprised that I'm hard to kill. That is a alchemist ultimate telegraph. You know what? No. Give me a tad of this shit, man. Step closer to healing nexus to take their healing. Okay, let's break that. Oh, you tell you're changing my stuff into different damage types. Annoying. Unfortunately for you, there's a limit to how much you can do that before I just kill you anyways. Use all of my abilities. Stop running from me. Also, yeah, I am level 20 now, so I should probably spend my points. Ancestral life. Bring my points into magic. Do I want to... Nexus. It might be due to the fact that I've been debuffed. Why is this damage so low? Huh. Oh, it skills with strength. Which isn't willpower. So my strength must have gone down at some point, so it's doing less. Hmm. Oh, I'm just going to max out Dissolve, because that's... But do I need to max out a Dissolve? Hmm. I just want to put one more point into it. Just so it has a chance to blind. Hmm. 
Let's start maxing War McGuile just for some resistances. Certain effects. So I'm real. I'm tired of getting stunned and not being able to use my full repertoire. Rip this leads somewhere. A tall man glowing like a star appears out of nowhere. Oh no, another adventure. You should not mess with things beyond your comprehension. Do not meddle in the affairs of time, for it passes swiftly and is easily disrupted. It looks at you more closely. You seem capable of help me. Fight the abominations while I prefer the timeline is only it's the only way to have Back and back and back to the future. And that's nothing impressive to me. This looks like Magial, but it is warped. What the fuck is even that? Burl Stalker. A slender metallic monstrosity with long claws in place of fingers and razor sharp teeth. It's poisonable. Which means it can be murdered quite easily by me. Temporal Dredgling. So you just want me. <laughs> it's the Lumberjack Village that's hilarious. Oh, it's uh, Ben Kruthdar, the Abomination. He's a summoner. This crazy madman seems twisted and corrupted by temporal energy, his body shifting and phasing in and out of reality. I wonder if this is the way that you unlock a new class. Oh, you're frozen. Oh, you are. You're not in a good state. Hmm, you know what? Let's summon the tidal wave to blow back his summons. And you're dead. Just a matter of you being eaten now. Worst damage to Paradox. Unfortunately, I failed to eat him. He's still dead, though. Lost in Mind Stone. This is a Temporal Rift. The Carved Mountains, but they're not. Hmm. Some of these guys, again, can actually be should be poisoned. Rantha the Abomination. Claws and teeth, ice and death. Dragons are not all extinct, it seems, but this one has been corrupted by the time rift. Rude. Appreciate it if you did not do that. It's all of you. Poison you. Corrosive AoE thing. Healing Nexus, just in case you have some timey wimey healy bullshit. And I failed to eat you, damn it. Let me inject myself with life. And dissolve you. Void horror. Looks like a small hole in the fabric of space. And time, obviously. It goes so well together. Dredge Captain, a. Yeah, I've heard that before. Oh, you're actually dealing damage to me. Impressive. I think that was only because it was a. Golem or somebody. Dissolve you. God, yeah, Dissolve is doing some pretty good damage. Can I myself break these afflictions that I have? Nice. Dredgling, goodbye. I know I already fought the boss, but I, uh. 
Let's see a good reason not to fight these guys too. need a few levels to fight whatever true final boss of this area that might show up. Who the hell is setting everything on fire? How in the world are the mountains on fire by the way? That's another question I need to answer. This bizarre oblong shape floats in the air defying gravity. Its form seems to subtly shift and you feel the intense desire to move towards it. Jinx. Huh. Guess regenerate. You're a entropy cultist. Should I get rid of you? Exterminator, kill a thousand things. So one-handed mace, tier 3, does more damage than what I currently got. Hmm. You know, yeah, I'll switch, even though it'll lower my damage slightly. In terms of uh, other things. Ugh. I wish that had some sort of extra... Oomph to it. No power of magic. Ah, I'm gonna have to trade my armor for something so. so flimsy. Okay. Chronolith Clone. A six armed creature dressed in robes with black insectile eyes. It's a shadow blade as well. Let us lightning speed up to it. Yo. I'm currently in a paradox. Six armed creature dressed in rows of black insectile eyes. It's a clone and a twin. Which one's the real one? I have no fucking clue. Yeah, crippling poison the both of them, so hopefully that works. Okay. Uh, healing Nexus, so whatever healing you guys get, I'll take. He moved. Guess I'll just use one of my abilities. Doing too bad in terms of damage. That will block though. Yeah, I got level uh, up to level twenty. I did lose my breath of life to a uh, a absolute mass of dragons. But aside from that, you know, I'm doing pretty good. I got uh, I got an elemental fury ring, which turns all of my damage into four different. Elements and then increases my element elemental dam each of the elemental damages, which means once I get chromatic fury, I'm basically going to be um, I might actually be dealing more damage than I was before. Well, I mean, clearly I was doing more damage than I was before, but I might be able to do even more damage. Like I might be dealing a, a hundred times. I, I might be capable of getting my damage up to the point where I'm dealing. 100% of my damage in four different elements at the same time. Which would be ridiculous. I don't know though. A tall man glowing like a star appears out of nowhere. You destroyed it both? I'm sorry for my harsh tone when we first met, but preparing, uh, repairing time threads is stressful. I cannot stay. I still have much to do, but take this. It should help you. This person again before you can reply and rip it open smart to Marjial. Yup. Temporal Warn. Okay, nice. Time isn't a linear thing, It's only, it only appears to be. In truth, it's a fabric. 
the very fabric that holds the universe together. As with all great powers, there are those who seek to manipulate it and pervert it. But there are those who seek to uphold rather than to destroy. Those who have learned to bend rather than break the fabric can keep the balance against darker power-hungry forces. You have been taught the ways of chronomancy by a Temporal Warden and can now create new characters with the Temporal Warden class. They are proficient in both ranged and hand in combat. Do wield a medium size and a small weapon attack from afar with ranged weapon skill. Manipulate time and space to speed myself up, create burn holes, or even throw an enemy into the future. See into the future or even travel in the past. Temporal Warden's use paradox for their powers and represents how much damage they've done to the space time continuum. The higher the paradox, the greater effect their powers has, but harder they'll be to control. Uh huh. Snow giant, perhaps. Okay, so what did he give me? Okay, let's start with snow giant wraps. Two large pieces of leather designed to be wrapped about the hands and forearms. A particular pair of wraps has been enchanted in parting the where which strength of the giants, force strength, knockback immunity, life, etc. This part of a pair would go great with a mighty belt. So what does it do? You grow to an immense size. I'm now huge. Say, is that it? Yeah. Um, it does actually affect, okay, it affects uh, two things. It infects, uh, I, I, no, I can carry the world. Uh, you be my weapon. Uh, for each, uh, okay, this, uh, obviously there's, uh, another part of it, but for each size category over big, you deal an additional 80% weapon damage. I don't know if that's part of the attack. It might be. But yeah, you deal a massive blow for 350 weapon damage. And you also need to be big to use it. See, so this is, is that. But also, Devour. Max life threshold at max, er, my current says. So if I were to fight, say, a boss that had 46% of its HP left, I would instantly eat it. It could be, like, the biggest, it could have, like, 6,000 HP. As long as I get it below half, I can basically eat it. A gargantuan creature with just a quarter of their HP, I can eat it. I'm not going to use this set, because it's kind of... Eh? It's kind of... Not great. For me, anyways. Where's my... Gloves. Yeah, these are giving me lightning damage... Lightning penetration. So kind of really like those. And then my belt was Green Knight, which is giving me stats and um, increased fire damage, which is also important because Elemental Fury. Which is actually good on this class. The only problem is if something's uh, only vulnerable to physical attacks, I'm <laughs> going to have to take the ring off. Air Afflictions, Rune of the Psychic. Oh, kind of already have one. Um, no, the word isn't necessary. I'm, that's not my main stat. Cooldown 13. Um, also 13. Okay, so that. Doesn't need replacing. Uh, let's get rid of this one. Yeah. I mean, I'm definitely keeping them for at least some. some while longer. So if I wanted to become big, I could do so. Okay, and then we also found. Cole's second eye. This bow is said to have been the tool of an inf 
Infamous Dwarven Spy. Rumors say it allowed him to steal the eyes of his enemies. Advers adversaries shocked were left alive only to unknowingly divulge their secrets to his unwavering sight. Um, that's an insane bow. Uh, yeah, not bad. I've seen better, like, regular bows, but that's still pretty good. Oh yeah, what's the uh, thing he actually gave me? Rune of the Rift. So it's a scroll rune. Inflicts 406 temporal damage. If the target survives, it will be sent four turns in the future. Lure any paradox I have by 25. Note that messing with the space-time continuum may have unforeseen consequences. Magical runes may be inscribed to your body and to you an on-demand talent. That's not bad. Obviously, it would require, you know, spending a slot. You know what? I'm going to spend a talent category point to fuck with time. And we're just going to solve it for prismatic, which is also really good. I also have Phyrex Redemption, among other things. Also, am in the market for a new hat. You guys couldn't give me a new hat after all of that. You just had to give me stuff that I'm not using, like more bows. I don't know why I checked this place. I just, uh, just wanted to look at it. Stand it. Solid ground, and then get through this. Get me out of this time paradox. Must be well with two hands. Dude, it looks good to me. And we're back here. Also, the uh, the enemy that I spawned, like the enemy that I need to find like three totems, wasn't here this time in the mountains. So yeah, it was just a dragon this time. So then I didn't uh, I didn't get to avoid the rematch. It just never existed in this world, in this timeline. Which is unfortunate, but I mean I got the temporal thing. Your target survives. <gasps> I wonder if I could activate that on myself. <laughs> I wonder if I could throw myself into a uh, into a into the future. Grimly. Oh yeah, what's my what's my quest? I need fireworm salva, sa salva, saliva, greater demon bile, and naga tongue and bone giant dust. This is spell boys mark. Halfling ruins. Yeah, that'd be pretty funny to have, like, a stun bot. But, uh, I am, an, unfortunately, not a golem. I do, this is the golem graveyards. I'm not an alchemist, so I don't know if I can make great use out of them, but they do exist on the map. Oh, you give me, you give me this. This is the same way my, uh, my dude died. My, uh, my dwarf died last time. Okay, these guys aren't overleveled for my character. Okay, I'm adventuring. I must say, as time grows, I feel so do I grow more and more inclined to distance myself from the calling of an adventurer. Like so many you can find roaming the countryside, I feel like the myth of a wandering hero is born of too many with the promise of easy fame and riches. With no eye for the other kind of fortune. Hear me out on this. Nowadays, most don't really recognize how fascinating the world we live in truly is. It is vast, more than you can imagine. I can safely promise any 
wild thought you can muster up, dear reader, will not come close to the truth, such as the breath of wonders. I would probably dismiss most of what I have seen as myth, be I not there myself, and even then sometimes I had to wonder whether I could trust my eyes. Perhaps I'm being too vague, or maybe these promises leave much to be desired. After all, adventuring is not all fun and exotics. It is before all danger, and the concept of death are worse. So now if you wish to wish me to be more concrete, think of a derelict crumbling ruins, crumbling crypts, cults and demons, hungry forests full of monsters and forces beyond time and space. True, there is overwhelming awe, thrill even, but the reason that so little detail reaches you is because so little so little live to tell. What does reach us then are not people but objects, artifacts of great power, legacy of the past. Surely any drunkard might like to tell tales after a pint or two. But a magical sword is a proof of its own, and it keeps quiet of what it has seen. So a great hero is easily usually easy to recognize, being practically a walking history book. Glad in half the age clad in half the age of important events, which he probably has no idea about. It is important to remember that every artifact has a meaning, beings of power, and importance behind them. Stories that now slowly wane into nothing. That is why it is not artifacts that make an adventure, it is it is his great deeds. The will to dare where someone where nobody did before. It is not important if you get known in the process or not. After all, if you were true to gate, maybe you will leave behind a legacy of your own. Kisten hyphen. Oh, cl clad, 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 you say, clad. <laughs> I'm overburdened. I have too many artifacts. I can't carry. Speaking of which, Umbral Razor. It's a dagger. 90% chance to make the target bleed shadows you heal for 15 whenever you hit an enemy bleeding shadows. Uh, and converts my damage into darkness damage. Um, darkness resistance, darkness penetration, increases darkness damage, stealth bonus. Turns up a beam of darkness. At level 5, ones to hit foes on either side. This Dagger seems to be forged a pure shadow with a strange miasma surrounding. Well, unfortunately, I'm not a dagger build, so I've already I've already outclassed that weapon for now. Okay. Oh, he pulled me in. Lost merchant. Faction victim. Uh, can you guys like come over to me? Oh, are you guys not attacking me? He's the leader of a gang of bandits without his men. Well, watch out for his men. Before you stands a menacing man clothed in black. Ah, the intruder at last. And what shall we do with you? Why did you kill my men? I thought there might be some treasure. I'm afraid this is not your lucky day then. The merchant is ours, and so are you. Get this intruder. Maybe we can work out some arrangement. You guys seem to be a practical man. Um, Sorry, friend, but your money. Oh, whoops. I clicked the wrong one. Well, I need someone to replace the men you killed. You look sturdy. Maybe you could work for me. You have to do some dirty work. Nevertheless, you may make a profit on the venture. Do not think of crossing me. Let me out of here and you may live. It was a smoke bomb and disappears. Well, I'm going to speed over to this guy and I'm going to poison the room. I need to be careful of using Prismatic Slash, but one of them has been eaten. Oh, there he is. Really hope this heal comes off. Oh, he does a lot of damage. Some poisons, water of life, would heal me. I'm slowed. I think I'm going to 
put you out of time, my friend. Then eat you, regenerate. Okay. Spans, sound turns. I do this without hitting the merchant needs to kill. Crippling poison. Primal. I'm going to block step into you. And I'm going to attempt to eat you, and I won. Um, and then I can't. <gasps> you idiot! You fool! What if I were to nature's touch you? Would you be happy now? Dude, I can't. Ugh. Rescue of the Lost. Well, I saved him, but he didn't give me a reward. What a dick. God damn it. I should have just taken the deal. <laughs> damn merchant, I, uh... Should have just killed you, took your stuff. Okay, the question is where the hell am I trying to go? Died here before. Maybe I should check it out. Yep, let's uh No, I think I think what I'm gonna do is push forward and go to the Lost Forest. I want to uh I want to lighten my load. Oh. Additional time. What'd you just say to me? Oh, are you, are you telling me this is a, a time clone? You met yourself. Why? Dehannis? Are you female? It doesn't make any sense. Why are you also not Wormick? <laughs> just, just throw you out of time. Speaking of Wormick, um, it's a lot of fire drakes. That wouldn't have happened to. Oh, I needed fire worm saliva and I didn't get any. What the fuck? So rude game. And it's auto explode. I, I, <laughs> by all rights, I should have lost this quest. God damn it. What would I do this to myself? Okay, that should be it. Um, it's unfortunately not um, not giving me necessarily what I would want. Seven defense. Hmm. Now this can be a little power. I'm not sold on it. Also, certain enemies can turn off my sustained abilities. I hate it. How do you use... And it's like, oh, this could get me hurt, but... I'm gonna do it so I don't freaking have to turn the mech on. I've literally had enemies drop my penetration. Or not penetration. Meditation. God damn it. Poor brain. Yeah. I know. Well, not a full turn, just a part of one. I'm very fast. You know. Wow. 
Well, for me, they only take 88% of the turn. So it'll be fine. Also, one of these... Yeah, Icy Skin gives me 15% of my life. <laughs> I like how you're telling me. <laughs> I like you're trying to inform me uh, how things work and I am. I'm like a level above. 80% of a turn, it uh, just means that I'm acting. My, my, uh, my mind speed is 13% faster than normal, which means I, I do everything. Well, all of my mental abilities are faster, and so is my attack speed. So all my attacks are, all, all of my physical attacks are faster. If I have global speed, everything will just be faster and be amazing. That is the power of a prismatic slash. Speaking of prismatic, uh, let me get chromatic fury. So, both resistant and attuned. Yep, that's, that's always a shame when you find magic gear, but you know, maybe in a world you might have never gotten the chance to get those in the first place if you hadn't spent that money. Plus, money just- I have a thousand gold right now, it's just burning a hole in my pocket. Resistance to these elements are increased. All damage you deal with them is- just be a dwarf, just be a dwarf and never spend your money. <laughs> Being a dwarf. It being that class that literally just pays to win. Be, being the dwarf pay to win class and just combining your life savings into being god. He's increased. Resistance penetration. So yeah, it's fire, cold, lightning. Yeah, unfortunate. But yeah, so this Chromatic Fury works on everything but the arcane damage I currently do. Which isn't bad. Hmm. Oh yeah, I can talk to my staff now. Nice. Um. Okay, healing next is nothing. I'm just gonna go ancestral life. So now, as long as I'm regenerating, I uh, get three equilibrium back, which is very, very convenient because I have a habit of neglecting that feature. Hmm. I haven't invested a single point into either of the weapon trees. Aside from Repost, it's not exactly passive amongst them that I would take. Hmm. Yeah, just just be all of the breaths. some point I'll get to more of the breath weapons, but right now I'm just trying to focus on the burst aspect, because I've I've definitely played with how Tos is built. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely played with uh, sand and venom and ice breath and just like cleared rooms like without even trying, but right now I'm just trying to fight one guy and then I can then I can do the room clear aspects of my my class. 
It's a crooked club. But of course. It is a mace. Two, two, one handed mace, but it looks a bit. Reduces targets' uh, accuracy and powers by 5, stacks up to 25, and increases physical damage by 30, so it's actually a 55 65 weapon. This is a 14% chance to confuse on hit. That's. That's probably better than, than what I currently have. Which is sad. This is, I, I mean, the only reason I took this weapon is uh, due to the 6% arcane trace, but right now, arcane is probably the weakest of my elements. Oh, good lord. Oh, more lord, I greed. The Karaks are perhaps the youngest of the. Intelligent races of Magiel. I was about to say sentient. Only coming into existence recently. They claim that there are formerly ogres that have had their runes removed, somehow surviving having their runes, runes replaced by a combination of natural infusions and drake blood. The removal of the runes were, was orchestrated by the Zagarinth, who apparently decided action needed to be taken to prevent all ogres from being horribly and brutally killed as a result of the spell hunt. Leading, the, leading to the creation of the Krog. The official reasons given by the Ziggurat for this action was that the Ogres were unfortunate victims of magic rather than perpetrators of it, and the Ziggurat were just looking to help to free them from the taint of the Arcane. Due to the fact that they were originally Ogres, it comes as no surprise that the two races share much with each, with, with each other. They tend to have similar hair coloring, facial features, and other similar traits. The average Krog, Krog is a bit shorter than an ogre at 8'2", and perhaps a little leaner, but otherwise the rest of their body dimensions remain the same. One would likely be hard-pressed to distinguish a Krog from an ogre or vice versa if it wasn't for the heavy tints of greens and browns with their eyes and skin, likely a side effect of whatever natural process Ziggurat deployed to strip them of the runes. The majority of Krog tend to live in or around the middle of the continent where the heart of Ziggurat territory lies, and they have been known to take up arms in service to the anti-magic cause. Indeed, one may find that the majority of any Ziggurat patrol one may encounter is usually made up of Krog fighters. All Krog seem to demonstrate some connection to nature as well as possessing abilities to combat mages. Not to mention, however, a huge resentment towards anyone that deals with magic in any way. Indeed, a Krog's disdain for the arcane begs the question if perhaps the Ziggurath did a bit more than just remove the runes from their bodies. Yeah, probably made a slave race, by the sounds of it. Commonly when they are not in the employ of the Ziggurath, or otherwise answering the call to do battle with a rogue mage, the Krog have been known to contract themselves out as laborers to whoever, whomever may hire them. Like ogres, Krogs are known for having impressive appetites, and one can find many Krog farmers buying fields to grow food for themselves to eat. They are also known for their talents in mixing infusions, producing the majority of one, what one might find in the market around the com continent. Of course, no an analysis no analysis of the Krog would be complete without mentioning the many stories, songs, and artworks that revolve around their many pursuits. A lot of encouragement is directed at younger Krogs by their peers to venture out in the world and perform heroic deeds. This course of action seems less to do with valor, glory, or riches, some, something that one might expect of a typical adventurer, and more to do with the mistrust, a lot of them at least, yeah, and more to do with the mistrust that followed them formerly being ogres. In an effort to combat their initial image they had as former ogres, the Krogs sought to commit themselves to gaining a new image through achievement of impressive Feats. This end, they seem to have been rather successful as evidenced by the creation of many artistic works told about them. Okay. I'm 
Okay, Lone Alchemist will probably give me something that... It'll probably just give me a uh, stat boost. Holy shit, that's a lot of smack. Go away. It's a black and mamba and all of that. It's being much a shield. Will to reward gives me acid damage. On shield block, does cold damage and freezes enemies in radius of four to the ground for three turns. Limit one to turn. My god, that's pretty good. I think that's definitely better than what I'm currently wearing. So that's an actual significant chunk of damage. So four is white. It's a ghostly aspiration with a humanoid form. Okay, friend, are you longing to live? It's a carrion worm mass, which might be the sign of a a uh, worm that walks. Okay, so dexterity or magic? I think I'll just take dexterity for the uh, t chance. And the, or, or the defense and accuracy, I should say. And then shrug off critical chance, not bad. Also, I do have a staff. That I can speak to. Where are you, staff of bones? Let's save just in case the game crashes for some reason, because I speak to this thing. You feel the you feel the bone bones of the staff creaking and vibrating your head. Yes, master. How is it that you speak? The vibrations feel like a shrug. By magic, obviously. What kind of necromancer might you be to ask such a stupid question? Um, bring forth a different aspect, Boon. Okay, that's fine. Uh, command staff. You have to alter your basic properties. Oh, you've experienced an error. It... It grows? Is there anything else you can do? The staff shutters. My finest services are only available to real necromancers. Stop bothering me, inferior creature. Okay. So, I'm not an, I can't even learn necromancy, so... What are you doing? Do not put me away! <laughs> an upgradable staff that I cannot use. But yes, it does appear to uh, be so... It can be used to create two living shards of crystal to serve you for ten turns. There's another staff, that's why I never equipped it in the first place. I get crooked. And the shields do count as armor. So unfortunately, no uh, no growing staff for me. But it's, it's definitely the goal of any necromancer I find is. Any necromancer I find, any necromancer I uh, make will be able to find that staff once more. Don't I have yet water of life that will heal me? There's a skeletal mold. Yeah, didn't manage to eat it. Because break afflictions. And then primal infusion. I missed something like eight times. Like that says I heal from all damage, which is true. Oi. Hey, that, that hurts, friend. Let me just throw you out of time. I think I failed. It resists. K. 
casually heal myself for, uh... <laughs> what does it say? 621. Oh my god, I have, I, have tw I have 91 total damage in retaliation. Anytime something hits me, it takes 91 damage back. That is, uh, that's stupid. Boy, yeah, speaking of which, um, what does this pick up? Take random, unique. It's 31. So it has better base stats. This is armor. Cold darkness, damage versus living. One real to reward gives me accuracy and defense. I think that's way better than the cricket club now. Because this is 55. This would be... Oh, I'm not going to do the math, but it does more damage total. Oh, it's two-handed. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. No wonder you do more damage. Ah, <laughs> fuck. I want my shield. Okay, this this armor does a lot of damage. Oh, this is water breathing, so I'll need that for the future. Generation seven. I I want it so bad, but my current armor does so much damage, and I need it. You know, I'll keep it around in case I want to switch to switch to regen. There's so much fucking regen, it's not even funny. Do you really want to touch that? Yeah, sure, we're not. As you touch it, it constricts you and swells you whole inside a giant tentacle. That did a plasmatic. Ah. You slowed me. But have you really? Someone with oh whoops that's not the one that I wanted to cast. Just get away from me. You feel the tremors a <laughs> Oh, good lord, get me the hell out of here. I'm... I want to be free! Which one of you is the most dangerous? 400. Let's throw you out of time. I need to stop this blight damage. It's AoE. Dissolve some of you. It's upon me. Let's meditate. Let's get the hell out of here. I know I need to wait for my uh, abilities to... Or not abilities, but I need to... Get these status afflictions off of me, but... Oh, I've killed something. Escape the technical. I mean, enemies seem to be spawning infinitely down here. I might be able to grind on them. Lightborn. Owie. You a, ne <laughs> a necromancer? A huge globula of protoplasm you can tell you can feel a kind of proto-sentience emanating from it, you can tell it's hungry. It's only from... It's made... Oh, that's right, the enemy's... Thing. 
Okay, it resisted being yeeted out of time. Okay, I'd appreciate it if the Astric Wave is coming. Hmm. Infusion, healing nexus. Swim with the nature. Okay. Shield myself. Let's breathe back on those things. It's... Oh god, I am. So close to dying. Okay, shadow Reflections. Attack. Okay, healing Wave. Regeneration. And then I'm going to eat you. Gotcha. <sighs> just, just can't, just, you know, just don't die. Just don't die. Just be calm on Gable. Just heal for... What did I heal for? Um, where is it? Here it is. Yeah, just heal for 437 every, uh, every 15 turns. That's without turning on meditation. If I were to turn on meditation, I'd get another 14% of, uh, 300 and... I mean, yeah, but I haven't looked up any, like, builds or anything. I haven't played long enough to be, like, you know... I know everything. I mean, hey, you're the one who said you died down here once. I'm alive down here. I'm thriving. Um... This ring is cute to look at, but I don't think it's actually useful to me. Got all these gemstones. Stop with the, the the waves of. Stop trying to digest me. It doesn't work. Your sun palette and healing nexus to try to steal your HP. All right, I'm only a nightmare. All, right, all the words don't mean anything. Just go in one ear, out the other. Okay, Demon Fear. Demon Fear is also too handy. It does so much damage. 58 to 87. God. Um, hmm. All right, my character keeps trying to rest. No more not to explore. Oh, that's it. That's sad. Those physical damages doesn't matter. Defense 25, Dex 5, Arcane Penetration. This is incoming crit damage by 10%, only diet minus 40. Um, you know what, that 25 defense, that's, that's tempting. That is tempting. No, throw it off my hot bar, because I'm not actually going to use the item itself. 25 defense, what's my defense up to? Um, 40. Represents your chance to avoid melee attacks and reduce the damage you'll be... And the chance to be knocked off balance by an enemy attack. The number is 53. It's based on damage reduction. Yeah, not bad.
Sim. Some room here. Yeah, it's nothing impressive. <laughs> Regular mundane healing infusion for 53, wow. To be fair, it was only the tits as a bunch of hot bears, I don't think. I don't think they were much of a threat anyways. It's a mind slayer that one. I've probably leveled up several times down there and never leveled up my actual character. Put some more points into my stats. Hmm. It's one with nature so I can get my infusions. So, so I don't have to worry about only one of my infusions coming back to me. Or well, I say coming back, uh, being reduced by three. Always half the time it gives me the one that I don't want back. And Chromatic Fury, thank you. God, my basic attacks do 160 damage. This is the most damage I've ever done as this, uh, as this class. Which has come at the cost of, uh, you know, me only having a thousand HP at level 23, but, you know. You win some, you lose some. And, and all of this is thanks to the fact that, uh... Um, good lord. I have, like, almost every p damage penetration I deal. All my damage is split up into lightning, fire, arcane, and cold. With bonus damage applied to each. Though the least, uh, the least powerful one, I believe, is arcane right now. Yeah, Cold is at 54, Fire is at 42, Lightning is at 39. Arcane's only a pitiful 34. All the other things don't matter because I don't do that damage. I can't do any other damage other than those four types. And then for Penetration, I have 46 Fire, 46 Cold, and for Arcane. Oh, and lightning seventy <laughs> percent. That's capped. I have capped lightning penetration. Oh, not bad. So now I just need to verify. Um. Can I deal damage to an air elemental? Because if I can deal lightning damage to an air elemental, that would be the dumbest shit ever. That's all I can say. Can disruption, I like magic. Ethereal. Meh. Mana burn. Ah, well that's intriguing to me. Also, my hat is. <gasps> I keep forgetting to actually look at new hats. <gasps> Current one is completely. completely out of date. Now the question is, can I actually kill the, what? Can I actually kill the, uh, the boss of this area? And I'm not, I'm not talking about the tree or what could replace it, I mean the, uh, 
Yeah, I don't care about Wrath of Root. He doesn't. He doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. Unfortunately, my lowest resistance is uh, mine with seven. Aside from the all, I haven't kept out my uh, thick skin. Not that I really intend to anytime soon. Let's throw you out of time, and I failed to do so. Whoops. Try to eat the tree. I need to try that. Bloom Soul. A pristine flower. Pristine flowers coat the surface of this mind start touching it feels you with a sense of calm and fresh in your body. Ooh. Gives me increased fungus. Not a bad mind star. So, Fungus is giving me max life and regeneration. Duration on my regenerative effects. More turns based on healing. And then a burst of healing based on my regeneration. Hmm. Healing my 20%. I don't want to completely forgo my shield for this. I don't completely forgo my weapon for this. I don't think I could afford the the uh, lack of damage I'd get if I replace my weapon. I think I'll replace the shield though. Gives me increased critical chance. It also can be used to heal me even more. Sure. Dude, this. I'm trying to look at my abilities. So yeah, it's uh, 45 HP per, per turn. So if I were to click this, oh. So four turn cooldown. It lasts for eleven turns. Okay, but if I were to do like say this, this turns off. This turns on. So I basically have a I have a twenty four well twenty four. I have a permanent uptime of regeneration, assuming it doesn't get broken by somebody. So there is that. Hmm. And I could auto cast this. I'll cast when available. Because it only affects me when I'm getting poisoned. Obviously, I could use it just specifically when I need it the most, but at the same time, I have so many abilities that I'm just going to forget it if I don't auto cast it. I'm not going to do the same thing with Shatter Reflections, because that's way too important to be wasting like that. Yeah. So if I were to use this, it doesn't put... It doesn't uh, interfere with my other charms. No, I don't really care about uh, Varg's Redemption. Ah, oh, my nose. Yeah, not bad. It's only improved some of my pieces of equipment, but yeah, Bloom Soul might be a pretty uh, might be pretty attached to that for the foreseeable future. So now, for every 100 
health I heal, I gain 4.2% of a turn. That's uh, it's pretty spicy. That is pretty spicy indeed. And some growth, uh, some growth is now completely viable because I have a permanent uptime on my regeneration effects. So I don't have to worry about it being unusable. Rogues do it from behind. An archer from the northern lands claims his great renown. With peerless skill and countless trials, his name known town to town. He spoke of facing vampire lords who promised years of pain. The archer gave a stern retort, an arrow through the brain. The fighter from southern lands claimed armies fled his might. Like dragons slain at most every night, and demons demons crushed by night. He spoke of ancient sprawling ruins, home to a ghastly shade. Its fear its years of madness, hate, and rage were ended by his blade. An archmage from the western lands claimed kingdoms feared his name, with countless legends, songs, and myths attesting to his fame. He spoke of fire, storm, and hail to match the fiercest worm. To see one man hold so much power can make an empire squirm. A rogue who came from an unknown land, not known for anything. A leap, a flash, and concealed blade, three heroes felt its sting. The archer dropped his blow unpuck, uh, unplucked. The fighter died as well. The archmaid found its poison far too potent to dispel. The rogue is unknown to this day. The rumors persist still. Rogues are known by name or deed, but by the names they kill. Rogues do it from behind. I was hoping that it would come to a grand, uh, a grand climax of just a a joke, a true joke. But no, I guess I guess the only joke was really the, the original name. <laughs> Doing it from behind, god damn it! I'm so juvenile. Um, I don't think I care about any of this. Hey, what is this? Oh, it's gonna be damage, right? I think I'll try to get through here without actually equipping water breathing. Uh, worst comes to worst, I just equip water breathing and go to town. Hopefully, it won't be necessary. Okay, start eating some, some squid. Speaking of which, um, none of these require squid, so I'm not gonna find them down here. But the Nakas I might find. Actually, yeah. Also, this helmet's probably replacing my current one because it's actually providing me something. Okay. Which one of you gave me water breathing? Okay, there we go. And then I'll go back to Steel Mail. Torah Hell. When it needs to be. Oh, I water siphon, right? I don't have the uh, ability to disarm traps. Unless the game would allow me to eat them, which I don't think would... Uh, you think it would allow me to do? Oh, there's a squid. Hello, friend. Get in my belly. <laughs> I'm bigger than you. I'm higher on the food chain. Oh, it's a brawler. You hurt, friend. Thank you. 
Get some fuse. Which is saturation prismatic. Okay. I need a sun growth. Let's uh, open up a rift and kill you. Water Demon, goodbye. Water Demon, goodbye. Okay, what was the sealed areas here? Unfortunate. Okay, the magic barrier is working. Which is both good and bad. Bad for my prospects of finding a Naga down here, but... It's good for putting... My Torah Hell back on for damage. Seeing which I just found. Some more for the orcs. Good lord, I found a lot of lore, and this isn't. Uh, I haven't even touched the uh, the thing to give me all my lore I've ever found. Good lord, where the hell is it? Okay, orcs. The orcs are joyfully extinct from Magial. Clearly not. Following the purge instigated by King Toknor the Brave at the start of the Age of Ascendancy, an academic study of their previous culture and civilization is still of interest. Primitive though it may be. Or maybe that's as an intelligent race. Orcs were generally around 6'1", with green or black skin. They varied greatly in physical appearance and build. Most likely due to their exceptional fast breeding rates. The majority of orcs were thick built and heavily muscled, or remembered as the stock grunts of their terrible armies. However, in the age of Pyre, a great number of thinner, stringier orcs appeared, off first in destructive, ma destructive magics. The orcs were first encountered by the Eldoral halflings, who tried to use the simple creatures as servants, but gave up after finding them to be too violent. In the many centuries since, wars and battles have been almost continuously fought with the Brutes. Their oft superior numbers have at times threatened to overwhelm all of civilization, even leading to such a drastic defensive measure as the Spell Blaze. The most terrifying time, though, was the, during the Age of Pyre, when the Orcs developed arcane abilities and under the leadership of Gurkhul the Devourer, they swept through the continent, mercilessly slaying all before them. In the end, 10,000 halflings gave up their lives in the Battle of Nurgul to defeat their demonic leader and stem their army's advance. Gradually, the civilized races began to recover and finally King Torknor and Queen Mervenia succeeded in uniting the human and halfling kingdoms, putting together a force to push back the orcs and ultimately extinguishing them entirely. Clearly not. Clearly, clearly failed to do so. Recent investigations of orchestra ruins have revealed a surprising amount of cultural material, and even crude artworks based around fertility and battle. Some evidence has also been found of strong community elements to their culture, with much focus on sporting activities and racial pride events. However, these are still clearly lacking in the subtleties and aesthetics of our more advanced cultures. And any attempt to compare them with us must be overshadowed by the brutality, territorial violence, and obsession with war. There were no substantial, substantiated reports of orcs for over a hundred years. Or reported settings there ha there are tend to be from such unreliable sources as adventurers and hermits. And have never been verified. We should be thankful that these terrible creatures have been banished to the annals of history, surrounding only as stories to be told to misbehaving children. Clearly not true. Imagine never seeing an orc before reading that, and then seeing an orc after reading that and being like, "You're not supposed to be here. You're not. You're not real. We killed you." Clearly, clearly you failed. 
It's a sulfur snake. God, I miss when I could breathe. Let's use Primal to potentially get rid of that. Okay, let's some growth. Myself. Oh, it's Luminous Horrors, which heal off fire damage from what I remember. Let's get, let's get back. It was very confused and running very fast. Wing Poison, Synaptic, Synaptic Static. Um... I don't have access to my speed. You, Hulk Hogan. There we go. Sorry. Making uh, very old wrestling uh, references. That aren't even from uh, when I was watching, it was just from somebody else who just loves to say, <laughs> I'm coming for you, Hulk Hogan. That poison? Yes, you can be poisoned. Interesting. I'm this horror heals from fire. Yeah, four healing. <laughs> he took so much healing! I healed him for 105, but dealt uh, another extra 500 damage on top of that. So heal all you want, nerd. I do more damage than that. This is the best part, he's not... ...technically immune. the damage. Let's look at my new weapon. Give me 8 strength, 2 magic, increase my crit chance pretty massively, increase my crit multiplier, increase light damage, obviously light damage doesn't matter. Gives me plus 20 damage, so this is plus 30 damage. This is plus 8 strength though. Um, I think this is an improvement. Um, based on numbers. Yeah. It must be equipped with both hands. If if this was one handed, it'd be better. God damn it. I keep doing that where I see a weapon and don't look at uh, its handed, uh, its uh, required hands. Piss. of love resistance. Okay, all dead. Excuse me, friends. I'd really like to get through this area without being inundated with your bullshit. Talk and fusion regenerate. Start doing stuff, but yeah. Oh shit! So you can penetrate pure resistance. Uh, they have a hundred fire resistance, and they heal off of fire. But I can deal fire damage to them. Heals from light damage. Oh, I do deal light damage with this. With what? How am I dealing light damage? Oh, is it friendly fire? Oh, I heal from light damage. Whoops, I read that wrong. Healing Nexus, which will allow me to heal off of their healing. <gasps> which I believe also takes away their healing as well. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually dealing I'm actually dealing fire damage to these guys, despite the fact that they have a hundred percent fire resistance. God, that's good. Oh, I'm just glad I verified that, so as long as you have high enough penetration, you can get past actual immunity. Speaking of which... 
Here's some of my resistances and all damage I deal. And, well, not all damage. Just the physical fire, cold, and lightning, which actually matter. Everything else does not. Let's get, uh... Get 32 points and get thick skin next level. None of this especially matters. Hello, weirdling beast, my old friend. I'm going to speed towards you and just start pressing my buttons. Okay, I have it's already a fifty percent. Let's throw you ah uh, damn it. It resisted the, my attempts to throw it out of the space time. And I ate it. Oh god, it worked. Okay, so now I no longer need an obscene amount of damage, so I can look at my... My 7 life regeneration item. So yeah, I now have a standing 37 life regeneration. Hmm... Oh, well, the alternative is... Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting like over 10. Let's see, yeah. it's, it's a sad loss, but... The durability. Uh, yeah, I, I do really enjoy this, like... Uh, I'll leave sudden growth there. Okay, let's examine the arm and the rod. In rod we trust. You've already read all this before. Okay, so now I can start turning things that I don't want into the base components, effectively, or into energy, which is what I, why I kept a lot of things. I'm obviously going to keep a lot of the artifacts to stare at. And everything else I'll just slowly turn to mulch. These gauntlets have served me well. They too shall pass. Breathing water, you know, I'll keep the breathing water. I'll keep a Torah held just in case I need a bunch of damage. Shields, not good enough. Nope, that's good. Hmm. Would give me arcane penetration and spell power. I don't think I like the slung of enemies. Enough energy to prove your rod of recall. Said so, my rod of call. Okay. So now every dungeon I go to, I uh, 
finally collected my energies. So I'm pretty sure I still can't place things in this vault. Yep. I own the game, damn it. Why can't I put things in there? And now I have even more lore. Well, all, all lore that I've found before, but. It's good. And we can leave. My nose is so horribly stuffed up. The question is, where to now? I should probably go to the mountains and deal with that guy. Okay, I am ready. Send me to Urkus. He Urkus me. So. To oh. Zorn, I can't be actually. Cannot be poisoned. You have fire resistance. Uh, yeah, good, good for you, bud. The armor, it's not good enough. Arcane disruption, I don't care. Goodbye. I just ate that dude from max HP. These poor dragons. Speaking of poor, uh, heal myself. Throw this uh this storm room out of time. Try to win it and fail. Growth. One with nature. Cross of mist. Okay, primal. Let's get rid of one of you. Generate myself, activate, equilibrium. The stone thrower dude is getting on my nerves. Which is why I'm going to murder him now. I say that, I could have murdered him so much sooner if I just, you know. Actually, yeah, uh, turned off my meditation. Wait, is they're all dead now? Excuse me, friend, can you go away? Please get off me. I should go away. Generate myself. Mm. Summon the ghoul king. Summon some of the ghoul king. Stench rises from this rotting abomination. Its brow is adorned with gold and it moves at you with hatred gleaming in its eyes. You can get off of me. Thank you. Give me teleportation rune of the wizard. Are oh, you still alive? I'll just eat you then. Eating. Tries to swallow it. Succeeds. So yeah, I can in fact deal lightning damage to an air elemental. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Oh god, the Shalorn. More reading. Give me a second. I need to open the airways.
There we go. A little bit better. Though the elven races look very similar in appearance, they're extremely distinct in history, culture, mindset, and many subtle physical traits. So I shall write of each of them separately. All elves are marked with their long are marked by their long pointed ears and high cheekbones. And other features can vary greatly. It should be noted that they call themselves as a whole Elor, which means siblings. Yet the interaction between these brothers and sisters are often strained. Often strained. Shalorn or Shalor literally means siblings of grace. Are on average 6'2 with bright hair and blue or purple eyes. They're usually slim and lightly built, more marked for their mental prowess than their physical strength. They're often known to be extremely swift of movement and light of foot. But a particular note is their magical affinity, which is far stronger than any other race, and their intense powers of will. The Chaloran have a long history of magic use, which continues to this day. Though other races shun the dangers of magic to a large degree, the Chaloran embrace it, and it is widely used throughout their society. However, they are careful to hide this in their dealings with many other races. The Chaloran were the ones that began the spell blaze, though they would soon have it forgotten, and the memories of blame run deep amongst many. During the spell hunt in the Age of Dusk, they locked their city doors and shrouded the whole region of mist, only coming out in secrecy. It took many centuries before they were accepted again in modern society, and still they are treated with intense distrust. The capital city is Elvala in the southern west peninsula, southwest peninsula. And they have very few settlements outside of this. They have naturally long lives and the mastery of the arcane hearts. Hearts. Arcane arts has allowed them to extend their lives indefinitely. Sorry, I need to. I need to take my personal life. Yeah. There we go. Where was I? In the Southwest Peninsula, they are very few settlements outside the state of naturally long lived lives. And their mastery of the arcane arts have allowed them to extend their lives indefinitely. The elders of Moros make up their Council of Elders, which is headed by their king, Iranian. Gala Galier Galiel? I don't know how to pronounce that. Death is a particular fascination amongst the Shalorn, and early kings of their races of their race were said to build uh, build great tombs for themselves whilst experimenting in flesh preservation flesh preservation necromancy. The Shalorn of course deny this. They deal with other races seldom, preferring to keep a low profile, and most of their trade is done through halfling intermediaries. A few rune crafters and enchanters sometimes travel to other major cities to do business, and some brash youths are known to explore further afield. Okay, oh, and then this unit. Whoops. So I'm just trying to find a uh, an open spot to open the prodigies menu. Okay, so I can become a I can get Draconic's will or unbreakable will. My will is so strong that if you simply ignore mental effects used against you, this occurs only every uh, only once every five turns. Or your body is that of a drake, we're easily resisting detrimental effects. Uh, no detrimental effects. Where is the? I need cunning fifty. God dang it. Hmm. Whenever you have stored fortunate damage of one type, you unleash a 
Powerful blast at a random enemy dealing 81% of that, or er, 81%, 81 of that damage to have been reduced up to 3, granting you one of the following effects. So let's say Arcane. Increase my mind and spell attack action speed for three turns. Fire increases all damage dealt by 30. Cold would turn my ice in, er, my ice into skin. My skin into ice. Increasing my armor and dealing 100 ice damage to attackers. Lightning would increase my movement speed even greater. And everything else I can't deal right now. Um, you know, aside from the... Damage that isn't great, but yeah, these are the only two I've unlocked right now, so everything else is fine. You know, I suppose I will look at uh, how to unlock the others. Well, oops. so clearly I need to get strength. Oh. I will pass 81, by the way. I need to put some more points into strength. Then more McGuile, so I have 50 53% occupant resistance, and 27% blindness and stun resistance. Not bad. Dragon's dead. There's a big guy. He has now become eaten. The dead man. Well, someone's a necromancer here. Or that was just a random skeleton and everybody was just <laughs> agreeing to ignore. This stupid dragon keeps shooting arrows at me. You right out of the wall. Yeah, these enemies are uh, level appropriate to me, I'm just... No selling the shit. It's a doomed snake. Oops. Okay. Let me eat you and then reset. Dang it, I wanted to reset. Does this take... Uh, I don't know if it took a turn. I mean this is instant. I can't auto-cast that. Probably wants to auto-cast my regenerative effects, but I know that it take away my ability to make actions. More intelligently, that is. <laughs> like how one of the worms froze each other solid. Yes, dealing cold damage to things that shouldn't be able to be affected by the cold. Always fun. Ice worm. An old and powerful cold drake armed with deadly weapon, or deadly breath, and nasty claws. Oh, well, it's dead now. Um, heroism based on cunning. Only die at minus three hundred and six. That'd be uh, that'd be quite silly. Hmm. 
Yeah, if one of those was slightly better, it would uh, it'd be incredible. Cane disruption, forget it. I don't think those gloves are better than the trim you're wearing. I will keep the uh, heroes of room. Let's speed up so I can maybe not get murdered here. Isn't in fact instant. Okay, well, you're dead. I live. Where the heck was the. Uh... Let's see, digestive sacrum, is that just me going insane? Oh, it's our chest. I am going insane. Let's open this. It's got closets in it. Dealt 500 damage. Some runes. Whatever that sapper was, he's dead now. Skin of many. That, uh... That could be an upgrade. 12-6. Mostly better. 40 life. Oh no, regeneration. Never mind. I also do love that it gets rid of your... Your stealth abilities. Because it's just a piece of armor that screams at people. Where the heck is Arcus? There you are, my friend. It's really afflictions. It's uh. Throw that at you. Failed to do anything. Else. It's not nature's touch. Um. You know, Nexus. Sudden growth. It's time to eat you. Fail. Like this. Have lightning resistance. He does have lightning resistance. Not that it matters to me. <sighs> okay, he's frozen. Um, now this is the time to finish him off. Rope belt of the Thalorn. The simplest of belts. Worn for centuries by Nistila Tentlin. As she tended to her people in the forest, some of her wisdom and power have settled permanently into its fibers. Hmm. Blaze bring your sword of amnesia. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh my god, if that was a one-handed weapon, it'd be amazing. But it isn't. It isn't. Reason. This is well to give to harmony. Gives plus seven cunning, eight will. Yeah. Mental crit chance, that's also a thing it's giving me. Holy shit. 
His harmony, harmony has now gone up. Which, yeah, that's that's not awful. That's not awful at all. It's effectively a free uh, category point. Not that I would have used it there. Um, I'll recall, please. I have so many abilities. Um, speaking of which, I could literally turn into a speeding bullet. And the ashes other than movement can't see effect. Oh, right. I wouldn't be able to stack it. If I could stack my two different movement speed abilities, I would uh, definitely turn into a streak of lightning. See, all of this can just turn into energy. Not enough energy. Okay, let's go here. Um, Mercus has been slain. Take this rune. Magical runes may be inscribed in your body. Okay, I slaughtered him. And you gave me... Rune of Dissipation. Activate the rune to remove eight beneficial magic sustains from any enemy or all magic debuffs from you. Oh, but I'd have to... I'd have to use a slot. I could, I could replace Shatter Afflictions. You know what, I am going to replace Shatter Afflictions. It's obviously not going to give me the... It's not going to give me the best bang for my... It's, it's not going to like give me the entire spread, but if I fight a magical enemy that starts debuffing me with like a dozen different effects, I'll just be able to press it once and everything will be gone. Or I can turn off somebody else's abilities. I think I am willing to have that. Plus I have... Uh... Let's say I have Fusion and Prime... Uh, I have Primal and Fusion for... Uh... All ran or, or all debuffs. This is a, the duration of a random debuff by 3 each turn for 4 turns. And also has the 18% of all damage is turned into healing before resistances are calculated. So yeah, if I get enough willpower, that'll be silly. Ooh. You find an old Krippen. Aura of terrible evil emanates from this place. You feel threatened. You hear the muffled screams of a woman. I died here last time, but, uh... Maybe it won't be so, uh, so bad. Killing blow. Highlight. Ooh, that's... That's sexy. Died to crippling poison. Oh, well, you healed yourself to full. Okay. It's healing Nexus to steal any healing you might have left in the tank. Three different magical effects on me, so let's remove them. Because of generation, sudden growth, eat you. Eat you, please guys, I just, I just want to... I just want to not be dealing with this right now. I want to... This is a tier 4. Let's use Arcane Focus on it. Crystalline. Crystalline Stralite War Axe. It's a part of a set of items. It's 41 to 57. 
Physical power 12, con and will plus 3 each. Increases my arcane damage and spell power. Huh. So yeah, 30. Seven, uh, okay, well, I can always check by doing this, okay, so, so damage 53, damage 65, okay, we're, do we're doing this. Ogre Rune Spinner, a towering ogre guard. Her skin covered in runes and arcane designs. And of course I can use this weapon to destroy it and cover my my item. Ogre rune spinner. I mean I've seen this thing before. Uh let's ten to thirty at a time. Fail to do so. Oh that wasn't thirty at a time, that was something else. Oops. Err. Eat you. Let's freeze the people in this room. You can't see what the hell's going on. Okay, I'm here. Do some AoE. Think everybody else is dead? Temporal augmentation robe designed in style. Designed by a slightly quirky paradox mage. This robe always appears to be stylish in any time the user finds himself. Him, her, her or her, or itself in. Crafted to a paradox mages through their adventures, this robe is of great help to those that understand what a wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey mess time actually is. The, the Okay, sorry, I'm just laughing because uh, my previous stream was literally called this. Not, not the same game, but... Uh, but yeah, literally today I had a stream called Wibbly Wobbly Timey Wimey. <laughs> God, the Doctor Who reference. Uh, I'm saying what a Wibbly Wobbly Timey Wimey mess time actually is. Here's see as a result of a particularly long, prolonged battle involving its fourth wear, a robe appends a very long multicolored scarf to its present wearers. This will give me six strength and six con. Oh, Varg's Redemption is still really good though. And Wanderer's Steel Pendant of Willpower is also still really strong, so I'm not going to replace it. Okay, so this gives me Backlash Damage, Strength, and Magic. Uh, gives me 10 Physical Resistance. You know, I'm not probably... I probably can't wear it. Teleports myself to a safe place for one turn. But the problem is I do have two points in heavy armor master, so this current one's probably my heavy armor is probably better than any uh, anything this is giving me. Though the reprieve would be nice. If I was a mage, especially a temporal one, I would definitely make use of that. Physical days. A balanced stralite dagger of evisceration. Okay, now. Ah, oh, I still need two more levels. Because I removed something that gave me strength. A chromatic fury is as strong as it can be without any other influence. So, yeah. So. 
all my damage that I'm currently dealing aside from Arcane is increased by 21.3% and I have 31.7% resistance to penetration on it. Healing Nexus. So what am I dealing with? Um, yeah, 70 Lightning, 57 Fire, 57 Cold, and 35 Arcane. And also the uh, damage of Multipliers. It's 56, or not 56, 46 Lightning, 46 Fire, 61 Cold, and 35 Arcane. So yeah, I am... Um, And pretty ridiculous. Okay, items roll out. Marauder. Oh. All oh, right, it's not going to be colored. Eh. I don't know if I killed him or not. Hmm. Generation. Got Blood Florian. But Fury. Straight encryption. Spell. So if I want to remove that, I could. I would say, oh, that sorry, I should be able to click on him. So I deactivated his uh, several of his abilities. Yeah, I'm just going to back away from you. Oh yeah, my vitality triggered and I healed for so much. What is it up to now? Also, that misdirection. I forgot I had that. So it heals for 211 total. Uh, 26.3 a turn for eight turns. Out of the way of that. That's a, a war master. Um, I'll delete you. I've been slowed. I'm healing Nexus. I'm gonna delete you from this timeline. And then I'm going to fight you. Yogurt stops regenerating health quickly. Sector so AoE. Let's just hit you. We should both die pretty much at the same time. Yeah, everything else can probably just get deleted. You hear eerie echoes. We'll send a mind star. Rude. Okay, let's start by removing my afflictions this is regenerate on myself and then some growth and healing the full and then I'm going to take my AoE and then I'm just going to run up to you eat you get pulled in here ogre guard a mala wielding ogre ready to crush promo fusion healing nexus arts redemption Prismatic Slash. It's also a Paradox Mage. Um, hit the most enemies. Nature's Touch to heal myself for a thousand. Got 40% of a turn. God, that's almost more HP than I have at this rate. Okay. 
Here's another regeneration effect. Just probe my vicinity for enemies. Hmm. That really hurt. Nature. Meditate. Oh, good no lord, I can't move. Okay, I'm already regenerating. Uh, I could not see. I was blind forever. Okay, so I gained a uh, Temporal Warden. <sighs> Piss. Where is the warrior? No. Oh, Chronomancer. The lifelines braided Temporal Wardens have learned to work with their other selves across multiple timelines. Through their study of chronomancy, they learn to blend archery and dual weapon fighting, seemingly uh, seamlessly switching from one to the other. So I guess I'll start a character with these abilities, and then I will end the stream after I read it a bit. Oh, we're in Timeland. Oh, thirty. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go both. Okay, sustain. Okay, so warp blade, attack with my melee weapon. This physical temporal warp damage, if either hit you may Stun, pin, confuse, etc. We'll freely swap to your dual weapons. Okay. Teleport to a target and attack my melee weapons, then teleport to a second random enemy. Can hit it multiple it can hit the same target multiple times. Uh-huh. Attack up to three adjacent enemies. If any hit, you'll create a temporary, sh a temporal shear dealing damage in a cone. Each time you hit, be on the first, just increase the damage. Targets reduced below 20% by the shear may be slain instantaneously. Cone is increased by willpower. While dual wielding, I have a chance of completely parrying attacks made against me. Okay, adds temporal damage to my strikes. Gives me a chance to gain 8% of a turn for every hit. Okay, for the next X amount of turns, I'll recover life and talents without fixed cooldowns. Oh, or in talents without fixed cooldowns. Refresh twice as fast as normal. Life regeneration kills the spell power. Give a chance to fold fate, gravity, or warp into your weapon folding damage. Okay. Okay, does extra damage in radius. You may lose physical and temporal resistance. Okay, a bunch of stuff. Each fold has a eight turn cooldown. If an effect would be triggered while we're cooldown, it reduces the cooldown of the other two folds by one turn. Attack the target with either a ranged or melee weapon, dealing X amount of damage. As the target hits, you'll breach the target's immunities, reducing armor, hardness, stun, etc., etc. Increases weapon damage when using. 
swords, axes, knives, or bows. Also use your magic in place of strength as well as calculate weapon damage. These bonuses over, uh, override rather than stack. Okay. When a single hit hits uh, for more than X amount of your max life, another you appears and takes a percentage of the damage. Okay. Clone is out of phase with reality and deals 50% less damage, but its arrows will pass through your friendly targets. Bruce's capacity to see invisible foes. These are all passives, except for Warden's focus. Okay, you see invisible foes and see through stealth. Gives me a chance to recover from a single status effect each turn. Sensibility skill with magic. And Warden's focus attack. The target with either your ranged or melee attack for X amount of damage. Next 10 turns. Random targeting such as Blink and Warren's Call. Target this character. Next against this target, gain crit chance and critical strike power, but you take less from all those who. Rank is lower than the focus of your target. Or of your focus target, obviously. Or mines, learn to lay mines. Okay, special tether. It's a chance for tiles away that the tether to uh, teleport back, dealing damage. Okay, vanish. For three anti teleportation fields. Okay. Speed control. When I move, I gain movement speed. The stacks up to three times, which can only occur once per turn. When I use a non instant chronomancy spell, I gain speed. Stacks up to three times, can only occur once per turn. Haste increases my speed for six turns. I gain turns, but my damage will be reduced by 100%. Uh-huh. <gasps> I wonder if I could time stop, shoot arrows, and then come back. Okay. Attack with your bow. Dual weapons. If you shoot an arrow, you'll teleport near the target's location. If you use your dual weapons, you'll teleport to your bow range. Additionally, go out of phase. Okay. Each time you hit with an arrow, you reduce the cold of one blade thread. Okay, each time you hit with a melee weapon. Okay, so this is for using both. Hit with a melee or arrow attack, there's a chance a, that a warden will appear from another timeline to attack a random enemy. Seems to make. Okay. Okay, interesting. Okay, temporal hounds. On activation, summon a temporal hound. Oh, sustained, so X amount of turns they'll be summoned. For three hounds, if one dies, you'll start a new one. And your hounds inherit your increased damage percent, have physical resistance and temporal resistance, and are immune to teleportation effects. Okay, and they scale based on magic. Command them to teleport to a target. If you turn an enemy, they will set enemies to target. When you learn this talent, they gain extra defense and resistance after any teleport. Rank five. If you're not at your maximum number of hounds and you cast a spell, a new one will be summoned. Okay. Now survive after their HP below is below zero. This state they will deal 50% less damage, but are immune to more damage. Command Blink will now regenerate your hounds. Increase their global speed for five turns. Hounds below one HP when this effect occurs will have the 
Lotus is doubled. If you learn this, they get uh, stun, blind, confusion, pin resistance. Command Hound breathe. Command them to breathe time. Give them temporal damage, and reducing the three highest stats of the target in the cone. Infected will have them just for three turns. You're immune to the breath of your own hounds, and they are <laughs> immune to the stat damage from the other hounds. And of course, if you max them out, they won't have the ability to take the temporal damage anyways. If you learn this, they gain the temporal damage affinity. And stasis. You automatically adjust your paradox down towards your preferred paradox each turn when using space-time tuning. Choices value will be added to the amount you normally tune to. This intricate spell instantly creates a time shield around the caster, preventing any incoming damage, sending it forward in time. Once either the maximum damage is absorbed or the time runs out, the store damage will be return will return as a temporary restoration field. Okay, I've seen this before. Each turn it's an effect, you get healed for 10% of the damage. While under the effect of time shield, all new magical, physical, or mental effects will have the re duration reduced by up to 50%. Max. Tips to send them all. Hmm, interesting. Static history for the next X amount of turns. You may not create minor abnormalities. You do not gain paradox or lose the spell you're casting if a random abnormality would normally occur. This has no effect on major anomalies. So I guess I'll get a point in space time stability. Precognition, foresight, contingency, and see the threads. Fate weaving. Spin the fate each time you would take damage. You gain one spin, increasing your defense and save. You activate to seal fate for five turns when you deal damage. Uh, I don't, <laughs> don't see myself using that. Okay, dimensional leap. I swap target, or swap place about the target creature. Okay, so I can actually target things with that. You teleport, you reduce the duration of any single detrimental effect by X amount of turns. Hold space. Between wormholes, any creature stepping through will be teleported. Wormholes will last this amount of turns. The chance of teleporting enemies will scale. Pulse phase when you teleport, you fire a pulse. Jolts enemies. Okay. Okay, that's I think I think I'm okay with just the step though. Uh, Colonel Mancy, probably need to put a point in all these skills. At least for the uh, activated and passive ones. Yeah, that's so much stuff. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I'll increase my magic. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, tournaments or keeper of reality. Gibbs of Reality are a group of chronomancers who took upon the self-assigned task of preserving the timelines around the all. You've trained for most of your life in the town of Point Zero, the stronghold of the Keepers, placed at the very center of all time threads since the Point Zero Keepers must constantly stay vigilant against the monstrous horrors of the unreality outside. You've heard about temporal disruptions in the all and want to investigate. Have a great Keeper of Reality... Zemexis has requested to see you. Okay, well. Oh. 
Yeah, uh, you want me to go find a source? Well, I guess, okay, this is where I'm gonna save. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, actually in the stream though. Brain, please.